Hey everybody, it's John from Dad Built DIY. Let's change the blade on our circular saw. All right, let's get started. Safety first, you wanna make sure that your saw is unplugged or if it's battery powered that you take the battery completely out. You're gonna need a half inch socket wrench and you're gonna need a new saw blade. So first we gotta take this old blade off. And you do that by locating this little bolt here in the center of the blade. And that's gonna sit on top of a little metal washer. And together, those two are gonna hold this blade on the saw. On the front of your saw, locate your little lock button. Press the lock button in, put my half inch socket on there, and I'm gonna give it a turn, just enough to loosen it. And then the rest, I can spin it off with my finger. And there you have it. In order to take the blade off, we're gonna to wanna to raise this lower guard. We do that with this lever here. You see, you pull the lever, it retracts the lower blade guard. So, retract the lower blade guard. Carefully, uh, I recommend using gloves when you're doing this. Lift the saw blade off. That metal washer's on there. It's gonna fall off as well, so don't lose that. Just take it off, let me show you. Here's the metal washer piece, and you take it off. And there's your old blade. We're gonna be installing a 60 tooth carbide tip blade. We're cutting MDF, and so we need that extra fine finish. Make sure when you put a blade on that you do some research to figure out what the right blade is for the material uh, and the project that you're doing. Uh, having the right blade on there is going to give you the best uh, and safest performance. So, to put the blade back on the saw, it's just going to be the same process but in reverse. So, we're going to start by raising the lower blade guard. We're going to take our new blade and slide it in just right under that plate. Put it on. You can lower the blade guard. Take your metal washer, put it right on top, and then finally your bolt, and just screw it into the center there. With our half inch socket, we're gonna tighten this up. But remember, the lock button on the front, we need to press that in. So we press the lock button in, Put the socket on the bolt, tighten it up. Now you want it to be tight, you don't need to over tighten it, you don't need to torque it really hard, just a moderate amount of pressure will do. Okay, so there you have it. You now have a new blade on your circular saw. If you'd like some more tips like this or wanna see our latest projects, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.